So you're getting what you think you want, Chicago Bears fans. Mitchell Trubisky will be the starting quarterback for the Chicago Bears. I'm excited about this. Generally excited. That's my, my one word of reaction. Starting Monday night, you get Mitchell Trubisky under center. And he better be excellent. Not for me. Mitchell Trubisky better be excellent for you and your self-image, Bears fans. The statute of limitations on giving the Bears any more respect than we give the Jacksonville Jaguars or the Arizona Cardinals is set to expire. I watch Mitch Trubisky, I watch Jared Goff, and the thing I really like about both, they were mocked for long stretches and doubted for even longer stretches. Brace yourself for him not being Maybe. the one this year. Mm -hmm. Right? We've seen Jared Goff come out in his first year, not have all the pieces around him that he needs to succeed. I feel like I'm ready. I'm excited. I'm just going to take it day by day and just prepare as hard as I possibly can. I'm just going to be dependent on my teammates a lot. And uh, my job is to get the ball to the playmakers and just leading the team and just trying to be that spark for the offense, I guess. Everybody says, well, you need to have confidence. Well, usually something good's got to happen to have confidence. And I think that's reflective of your whole team. Look, I, I would caution people starting a rookie quarterback, despite what you've seen from Deshaun Watson, there will be bumps. It's going to be a, a roller coaster ride. But with that said, we feel like we have some hope here in Chicago now, guys. This is about moving past Jake Cutler. Like, we're still stuck on that. I think what everyone is looking forward to starting next Monday night is an opportunity to look at the future of this franchise. So careful what you wish for, because if Mitchell Trubisky is not ready and he flops, well, you still won't be over your Bears, Chicago, but the whole rest of the world will be.